Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we're looking at classroom library apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today I'm going to talk about apps to organize your library. And when we talk to teachers that teach reading, writing, social studies, and even other subjects, we talk about the importance of having a classroom library. The one problem with a classroom library is if it grows, it starts being hard to manage it, and iPads and other devices can help you really organize it, know where the books are, have students check books out and know where they are and be able to track them, and be able to acquire new books and add them easily into your classroom library and library management software. It used to be that library management software was actually really expensive and only professional libraries could use it. But with the, ad with the coming of the iPads and everything around them, we've seen a number of apps that help manage personal and professional libraries very, very well. So I'm going to talk about a few of those apps. The first one I'm going to talk about is My Book List. And My Book List is very simple. It's actually intended for personal libraries, so it doesn't have a checkout feature, but you can enter that in if you'd like. And what you have in this app is you have something that looks very much like the iBook, uh, iBooks app um, interface. You've got these shells where your books are. You can search your books to see which books there are. I just entered a few books just to have. Or you can add books to your library. And the way you add books is you can use title, you can use the author, or you can actually scan the barcode or enter the ISBN yourself. So let's try to do something by author. Um, let's say we're looking for a Roth, and let's see what it comes up and here are books written by authors named Roth and there's Ver uh, Veronica Roth and we're saving something from the Divergent series and it'll tell you that it's saved and now it'll show up on your shelf. So this is a very quick way to put a book in. The other way to put a book in is to scan the, bar the barcode and this is an addition that costs about um, 99 cents but again if you're managing your library from one uh, iPad, I think it's worth the investment because then all you do is you put that I ISBN code there, the book was found, you say is this correct, yes this is the book I'm looking at, and now it's saved, so it's a very easy way to add books into a library. Very easily done, you can create charts with books in different categories, so you can actually organize it by categories. You can input that manually or have that brought in. And the last thing is, when you look at a book, one of the things you can do is you can add a note. So if you're using this as a checkout method, now a lot of classroom libraries they actually don't check books out. But if you do want to use it as a checkout feature, all you have to do is enter the name of the student that is checking that out, or the adult, it could be a fellow teacher or anything else, you just enter the name in the notes and now you know who's got the book and when the book is returned you just take it off of there. So this is my book list, I personally like it very much because it is very simple, it works rather well, it brings the picture, which is one of the things I love about these apps, is you know actually what the books looks like. Uh, when look like when they, you do that. The second one I want to talk about is called Book and in this one you can see you get a little bit more information when you enter your uh, book library so instead of just the picture you see a picture and then you see a short description and this is brought from the internet and again you can add books in, you can scan the book, you can uh, use enter an ISBN manually or you can uh, use the uh, ISBN so again you just take pick up a book you put it in front of the camera or you bring the camera over it just because of the way we have this set up I bring the book to the to the camera and not the other way and now you can see this is the name of the book the publisher we can add a photo of the front page so you can search for the image online 
you can take it from your photo album or you can take a picture and right now I think it's simplest for us to take a picture because I have the book right here and here's a picture and now they will use this photo for this book. So this is done, I can go back and say save and now I've got this book entered here and you can see that it's entered in alphabetical order right now for a for the name of the book, but you can reorganize it by author or by other things. So again, this is a simple way. When you enter a book, you can see that you have some details. You can have great details, but you don't need all of that. But what it has that the other app uh, did not have is you can actually have here who it was loaned to. So you can actually enter the name of a student or anybody else who loaned that book. And that way you can see where uh, the books are at any point in time. So you can save that. You can also rate the books, uh, which is another nice feature. Um, search the books, have a wish list for future books, and things like that. So this is a great way to manage your classroom library. The next one that I'm going to talk about can be managed from the app, but also has a fantastic um, web interface on the computer. The great thing about this one is that this app actually allows you to create a library, manage library, and purchase additional books. And at the same time, if you look at it, you can actually check out books. So now you can have books, you can write your name, or the student can write their name, or you can write their name, and then you can say which book was taken out and that can be done through just writing down the name of the book. Let's see. I've got a book here and the name of the student and there are no students defined so you need to go in as a teacher and define students but that's how you would do that. The student would write their name and then they would say check out and when they bring it in, they can check it in. Now this is the complicated way. The easy way, of course, is to scan the book. So you can take the book, and the same way as entering the book into the system, a student can just go to the iPad, scan the barcode, and the name of the book will come out, and then they can check it out. All they have to do is press checkout, of course. Right now, we don't have students in this list, so it won't allow us to do this. But this is, again, a very simple way to manage your library. And you can actually create a really nice library uh, database that allows you to track which students are reading what at what point. So even if they're not taking it home, but you want to know who's teaching what, you can use this app or any other of these apps to manage a classroom library to also track what students are reading. And so you can tailor uh, what kind of assignments you give based on their reading or just manage how much they're reading or at least how much they're taking. How much they're reading is a different question altogether. So these are three different apps. All of them work very well to manage classrooms. They have somewhat different interface and different uh, benefits. Uh, my book list, for example, will offer you an extra feature for pay that allows you to synchronize across devices. Therefore, if you have multiple devices in your classroom, it will synchronize them and also save the information on the cloud. So right now, my list is only on my device. But to prevent any problems from uh, devices being lost, uh, stolen or just broken. This is a way to manage that information. Um, the classroom app, again, allows you to have this online database. That means, again, you're not tied to a specific device. Other students can use it, other teachers can use it, but more important than anything is that if anything that happens to any of your devices, you're safe. Uh, the last one that I want to talk about as I talk about library apps is Overdrive. Overdrive is not a way to organize your classroom. Overnized, Overdrive is an app that allows you to connect to public libraries around. And um, I've shown this before. I'm just mentioning it very, very quickly because it's a way for your students to find out what your library has and if they have electronic 
books also borrow those electronics book. If not, they can manage their accounts or you can manage your account. So it's a way to connect kids to the public libraries in your town. And if they're not using it, maybe suggest that they try using it as another way to reach out to classrooms, to kids, and to families. And so today we talked a lot about uh, classroom libraries and general libraries. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.